It's the Friday before a three-day weekend, and you are looking forward to a romantic vacation on the beach with your special friend. You get off work a bit late and head for the bank to cash a check. Pulling onto the freeway, you're immediately locked into a bumper-to-bumper -bumper mass of vehicles lurching along at 15 miles per hour. 45 minutes later, still a couple of miles from the bank, you notice that you're low on fuel. You begin to steam. Someone tries to cut in front of you, and you explode in a rage, shaking your fist and shouting obscenities. When you finally get to the bank, there's no place to park. After circling the parking lot for 20 minutes, you find a space. The line in the bank looks endless, and there are only three tellers. The man in front of you has a bag of checks and cash from his business. You continue to steam. It seems like every customer chats with the tellers. And the tellers! It takes them forever to do anything. As you inch along in line, you glare at various bank officers to let them know how angry you are at the inefficient way they run their bank. By the time you get out of the bank, you're behind schedule, and it's rush hour, pre-holiday, Friday afternoon rush hour. You race out of the parking lot, squealing tires as you cut into traffic. Rushing through an intersection at high speed, you catch the attention of a police officer. It's not enough that you get a ticket for reckless driving. The officer takes forever checking out your license and writing the ticket. When you finally get going again, you feel like a bomb about to go off. So my question of the week is this, is it possible to be calm under all circumstances, or do certain circumstances force us to be distressed and agitated? Why do some people seem happy in horrible circumstances while others suffer in the midst of being loved, healthy, and financially well off? Do you think happiness is mostly a matter of attitude or not? I look forward to hearing all of your responses. Stay tuned for Sophia tomorrow.